Okay, so we're going to open up Canvas Workspace and open up that file that you downloaded for free. Okay, and then we're going to uh, get rid of those patterns on the side just by clicking that. And then if you click on your layers option over on the right hand side, um, you see how all these layers are here. I was able to group them, but I'm not able to keep their names permanently like this. Um, so I'm just labeling them now for you so you know what each of them are. Okay, so you can see if you click on that little eyeball or unclick it, um, you're able to see those things or not see them. So right now I am just going to hide everything except for that fabric sleeve that we need to cut two of them out. And so I'm just going to select that. And then if you right click on it, you can click duplicate and it will make two. And then you can go ahead and send those two over to your scan and cut by clicking on the file menu and then going down to transfer wirelessly. Now it's going to pop up with a warning telling you that the things that you uh, click to hide are not going to transfer over. And that's perfect because we don't want them to transfer over. So go ahead and click OK on that and then click OK. OK, so we're ready to cut these out. I already sent that sleeve design over to our scan and cut. So I am going to click on retrieve data and I sent it from my computer. But if you have a different way of doing it, you can choose your option. And here is those two pieces of my fabric. Um, so I'm going to pick one of my fabrics. Now this mat has a fabric support sheet on it. I went ahead and added it to it to be able to um, give my mat some extra stickiness so that I could put this fabric on. Now I didn't put anything on this fabric. Um, it's just plain old fabric that I ironed and I'm just going to put it on. And you don't want to tug it, but you want to make sure it's smoothed out if you were to tug it, you would distort the fabric and then that would give you a wonky cut. Okay, so once you get your fabric on there, open this up. And let's see, I didn't measure these out to see if um, this would be big enough, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, Okay, so now we're ready to cut. Um, I do wanna show you this one option because I know a lot of times those of you who have remnants like I do, um, you know, you don't take the time to measure or anything like that. You just wanna know, hey, will this fit or not? So you can always hit the scan button and hit start and it will scan your whole mat so you'll be able to see that fabric and see if your pattern fits on there. Okay, so I can see that those fit perfectly. Now I have my background lightened um, because of whatever project I was doing last must have been a dark color. So if you ever wanna change that, you can hit that wrench and then just change your background to the other option and click okay. And now you can see how dark it is. Um, and I can still see my patterns on here because this is a lighter color. Um, but if you ever want to switch it, that is how you do it so that you can see it clearly. Okay, so I'm good on this. I'm ready to cut. Um, the only thing I want to change out is to my other blade. This blade is the auto blade that is good for cutting a million different things. And now this is for thinner fabric like this cotton. So I'm just going to put that in there and make sure my fabric is on there really well. Click OK, and then I'm going to select Cut. OK, and now I'm ready to hit Start. Okay, so then let's just check, make sure it cut through. 
So now I'm just going to repeat that same step to cut out this for all the rest of my fabric. As you can see, I already did my pink one, um, but I'm going to finish these last two. finished cutting so we'll just check and make sure it cut all the way through and it looks like it did okay now that we're done cutting those out we're back in canvas workspace and we have both of those that we can turn the little eyeballs off on and turn on the felt layer and we need two of these one for each of our sleeves that are remaining um, so I'm just going to duplicate that and spread them out and then again go up to the file menu and then over to transferring it wirelessly. Again, that same warning is going to pop up and we'll just say OK and then OK. OK, so I have my felt on here. I'm going to load that in. I'm just going to switch out these blades so that I have my regular auto blade in there. So I'm going to click OK. And now I sent over the felt design. So remember, that's a little bit smaller than the cotton fabric one. Um, so I'm just going to go home and click OK. And then retrieve data. And I sent it from my computer. Okay, so it looks very similar, but it's a little bit smaller. Okay, so we're ready to cut these out. So we're going to click OK and select, cut, and start. Okay, that's finished and just gonna check again now I'm speeding up the video for you of when this is cutting out um, but if you are watching it in the live time it went around and it cut these out three different times and each time it's going a little bit deeper and so that gives you these perfect cuts like this um, that are just amazing So it does that because this is the thicker, um, this is probably, I don't think it's quite three millimeters, it's probably two millimeter, and this is real wool felt. Um, so this is the good stuff. So now that our felt is cu cut out, we can go ahead and turn those layers off and turn on all the word layers. So once we have those, we can organize them however we want. Um, I'm just gonna select all of them and move them up to the top here and then just kind of spread them out over that top row. All three should be able to fit. Okay, so after you're finished um, and you get them all how you want, you can again go up to that file menu and send it over to your machine. Okay, so now we're ready to cut out our iron-on vinyl. So we're gonna hit that home button. That just takes us for a nice fresh start. And then uh, we're gonna retrieve data. I sent that the designs for um, the vinyl over to my machine. So there's the two that we haven't cut yet. So I'm gonna take a different mat because that still has my fabric support sheet. Let's see, let's try this one. Move it out of the way. Okay, so we're going to put our vinyl on with the backing side, that shiny side down, um, and that gives us the vinyl side up. Yeah. Okay, so one of the things I forgot to do before I sent my designs over here was to flip them around. Because we're cutting through the back of the vinyl, we want it to be when we flip it over right side up that we can read it, right? So I'm gonna go into Edit, and then Object Edit, and then that first design is already selected. So I'm just going to click this mirror button. It's on the second row, the middle one. Okay, so it flipped it. And then I'll click on the second one, click that mirror button, and it flipped it. So now I can click OK, 
and then keep clicking those okays till you get to this screen and then select cut and we need to finish loading this so this mat doesn't feel quite as sticky so i'm going to use my roller just want to make sure that stays stuck okay so make sure they're bumped up against there and hit load Okay, so we're ready to go. Now we just need to change this half cut to on and you do that by clicking on that wrench and then scroll down to where it says half cut and we want it to be on. Now this has to do with those layers that we were talking about, right? We want it to cut through the vinyl but not through that plastic backing that's touching our sticky mat um, because that's how we're gonna transfer the letters onto our fabric. Okay, so our half cut's on, we can click okay and then click start. Okay, so that's finished. I'll pop that out. Okay, take this off of here. And let me get my scissors. Okay, then I'm just going to take this down a little bit so there's not quite as much to remove. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these at a time, obviously. And always getting that corner is the tricky part. Okay, so I just want to very slowly peel this up. Okay, so just keep working that until you get that all off. Okay, so this is what our plan's going to be. Um, each of these fabrics, they each get a felt piece, um, but we're gonna be saving those for later. What we're going to do is basically make a big pocket for this. So we're putting those right sides together. You can go ahead and pin those, um, and then sew along all of the sides except for one. Um, one you're going to leave open so that when we turn this right side out uh, we'll be able to slip this felt in and then you'll have that barrier to keep your hand from burning um, and keep your drink a little warmer. So um, that's the plan right now is to just take this over the machine and stitch all the way around three sides. Now an extra little tip um, if you're kind of picky like me is to before you sew them up to fold back that end that you're going to keep open um, that way when you get to the flip around part and ready to sew it up you have this nice pretty um, edge so that is my tip is to just uh, maybe a quarter of an inch fold those down and iron them and then you're good to sew around those three sides Okay, I just wanted to give you guys a little note about um, this little hair tie part. Um, so I just pinch it and put um, just like one third of it on this side with um, a clip and then two thirds of it on this side. And I'm gonna stick it in here behind my felt piece. So it's gonna go under that. And then I'm gonna stitch right here to close that side and then also continue that top stitching all the way around so it holds that felt in nice and secure and of course i'm going to iron on my little saying too um, but we also need to add a button for that hair tie to connect to so you'll have to take out your cup and you know wrap this around it and see exactly where you want that placement for your button um, but after you do that part you're finished for more ideas and inspiration, visit erinbassett.com. And for all things Scan and Cut, visit scanandcut.com.